What's up, YouTube? It's Aiden from MMOs World, bringing you another recap of all the major MMORPG news that happened throughout the week. So sit tight and soak it in. We are starting the news this week with Guild Wars 2. We are pretty close to getting the next part of the episode in the Living World season. Episode 2 of Season 4 is due really soon, and unfortunately, due to issues, ArenaNet has had to delay the reveal announcement and trailer of the next episode. The news was delivered on the official forums by producer Mike Zadrojny. However, do expect to see the episode arrive within the next few weeks at least. Moving on, there's a couple of big news for free-to-play action MMORPG Terra this week. First up is the console open beta. Players can openly play and test Terra on both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on March 9th. You'll have exactly one weekend to do so as the open beta ends on March 12th. And right after that, the Counterpunch update will drop on March 13th. The new update brings the Male Brawler class, the return of the Ruinous Manor dungeon, and more game updates as well. Onwards now, and Rift Prime finally has a release date. Rift Prime is a new subscription-only server for Trine World's free-to-play MMORPG Rift, which takes players back to vanilla and adds a progression over time mechanic. Unlike the live servers which are, again, free to play, you will have to pay a subscription to access the Prime servers, but the good news is there will not be a cash shop or any other shenanigans in the Prime server. You can now pre-purchase a Prime server bundle and get Prime time before launch from the official website. Up next, the latest Gloria Victus update introduced the long-awaited playable female characters. There were massive preparations behind this change, including reworking all of the armors and garments in order to make them fit on female characters. However, the devs are sure it was totally worth it to do so that players can now roleplay as whoever they want in the immersive medieval world of Gloria Victus. Gloria Victus is a PvP-centric MMORPG with a focus on group play, exploration, and crafting. In addition to that, there are many combat changes to accommodate non-target combat in this update as well as other mechanics. And finally this week, in case you missed it, Blizzard is letting players jump into its popular first-person shooter game Overwatch at a discount. To celebrate the Lunar New Year, which now passed in some regions, there is a sale ongoing until February the 27th, and that's for both the Standard Edition and the Game of the Year Edition for Overwatch. In addition to getting the complete roster of heroes, maps, and game features, the Overwatch Game of the Year Edition gives you a fully loaded bundle of bonus content and Overwatch-themed extras for several Blizzard Entertainment games. Again, if you've not played Overwatch, now's the time to jump in because there's a sale going on. And that wraps up our major MMO news recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, head on over to our website at mmosworld.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MMO content. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMO's World, signing out.